welcome back to the channel. And last night was crazy as hell, you know, with the two officers shot, one killed, one still fighting for his life. Uh, you know, I just want to send prayers to their families. You know, not all cops are bad cops. You know, me, I, y'all know me. I don't, I don't hate the police. I don't fully support them. It's a, it's a lot of good cops out there, and there's a lot of fuck cops out there, fuck ass cops out there. You know, uh, I'm, I'm just be straight. Huh? I, I shoot it straight. You know, you just gotta run into them and see which ones the good ones and the bad ones. But these two, I just wanna, you know, hope for a recovery for the officer that did survive, and I just wanna send my prayers to the family of the 29, the fallen female officer, 29 years old. Uh, I just wanna send. My condolences over to her family, uh, over some stupid shit, a traffic stop. Uh, they turned into a gunfight, you know. Even if you, even if you wasn't supposed to have a gun, you just better off have it. You just better off taking a ride. And and if they ain't had no, if it was just a minor traffic stop and they ain't had no PC to search, you would have got away with the gun. Now you got the whole CPD on your head. Cause you thought that they was gonna find the gun, had probable cause, find the gun, and you know, if they didn't have probable cause to search, they would just probably wrote you a ticket, or whatever, and cut you loose, and you would have got away with the gun. But you know, you, you didn't sit around and see, you know. And if even if they did have probable cause and they said you found the gun, it was just better off taking a ride for the gun now versus having a whole CPD on your head, uh, you know. So. I just wanna send my condolences over to you know both families or the officers. Uh, the female who shot them, oh yeah, you got the whole CPD on your head. So when they catch you, they gonna beat that ass. When when, when they get your ass in lock up, before they take you to lock up, they gonna beat the dog shit out of you. You know, cause that's what I would do. Uh, cause you just did some real stupid shit. Uh. You know, because in the day, officers are like us everyday people. They want to go home to their families every day. They want to go home. They want to go to work, get paid, do what they do, and, you know, just do their jobs and go home to their families. But some officers come here for bullshit. You know, that's why I say not all officers are good officers. A lot are good, a lot are bad. That's why I have support. Police only support the good ones that I know, that I ran into, that I met. Like I said, I know Ren had encounters with, uh, you know, so I support those. I don't support the entire department as a whole because I'm not no ass kisser because I know I'm going to get back in the car. It's hot. Uh, I know a lot of officers can be out here that do fuck shit, that are crooked cops, dirty cops. You know, I don't support those, you know, uh. Another thing, it is not about politics. It is not about politics. I got a lot of comments on that video late last night. I seen this morning talking about keep voting Democrat. This is what's going to happen. Keep voting this. Keep voting that. It's not. And like uh, Martin from my, sh from my life in the shot, we was talking to him. Me and my girl was talking to him last night at the hospital. Uh, you know, and... Why do people want to hold politicians accountable? Like, motherfuckers talking about, oh, Lightfoot responsible for this violence. This violence was going on before her. This violence was going on for several mayors, for decades. Um, you know, she's not responsible for it. The superintendent is not responsible for it. They, it's not like they going out here telling people to pull the triggers. You know, so I don't hold those people accountable. And with Kim Fox's office... I don't hold her office accountable because the judges is the one letting these motherfuckers back out. When these motherfuckers get caught with a gun, the judges is letting these motherfuckers out on ankle braces, letting them out on low bonds, giving them a $10,000 bond. If I was to get caught with an illegal gun, which I won't because I'm legit, but let's say if I wasn't and I get caught with an illegal gun, they going to give me Straight five. They're going to give me a bond I can't fucking post. They're going to give me like a fucking $500,000 bond, 50 grand a walk. 
versus a convicted felon that's gonna get like a ten thousand bond, a thousand a walk. Judges is the one letting these motherfuckers back out. So I don't blame Kim Fox's office. I don't like Kim Fox, but I don't blame her office. I blame them when it comes to sentencing. But when it before sentencing, you gotta go to the judge to see bond court and the judges is the one letting these motherfuckers back out. Um you know, y'all know I don't fuck with crooked ass politicians. I don't like politics. I don't give a fuck if you're a Republican or a Democrat. All them motherfuckers are crooked. You're not going to benefit by shit that they do unless you rich and you white. You got to be both at the same time. Both at the same time. Uh, even if a fucking Republican was, a crooked ass Republican was to come in. Chicago is still going to be the same. This violence been going on. Ain't no stopping this shit. The only way this shit can stop if it stops from the inside out. Ain't no coming in and stopping it from the outside in. This shit is impossible. This shit been going on. Uh, so, you know, people talking about talking that shit, oh, keep voting with Democrat. You're going to keep getting this. This shit going to happen with a Republican. So, motherfuckers don't give a fuck. This a real Chicago. Motherfuckers do not give a fuck. Uh, another thing is, you know, it, it just, it, I, I just find it so fucking stupid how motherfuckers want to blame them. You know, that's just like when the next mayor come in. Motherfuckers gonna blame them. When the next superintendent come in, motherfuckers gonna blame them. This shit been going on for decades. You know, Chicago been this way. Chicago gonna always be this way. No matter what crooked ass party you got running. Yes, crooked ass Democrats, crooked ass Republicans, crooked ass liberals, crooked, crooked ass conservatives. No matter what part, crooked ass party come in and take over. Chicago is always going to be like this. Ain't no stopping it. When are you motherfuckers going to stop holding these crooked ass politicians accountable like they tell them motherfuckers to go shoot and hold these trigger pullers accountable? When y'all going to start blaming the trigger pullers? Like, hell, David Brown is in Texas. Supposedly his mom had died. He down in Texas. Weekend shooting still going on. He not even here. He going to get the blame for it. So, but who, who gonna blame these trigger pullers? That's what I'm saying. Blame these trigger pullers. Blame the motherfuckers who are actually going out here committing these shootings. That's who I blame. You know who else I blame also? The judges. Just letting these motherfuckers out. Because I, I got a couple family members who are convicted felons. And if they get caught with a gun, they gonna uh, get a, a, a low enough bond to get get to post. Well, me, I'm gonna get a bond I can't post. And they gonna go to give me the five years. So, either way, uh, I'll catch y'all in the next video. As always, like, comment, subscribe.